Hello and welcome to part 5 of the new Half-Life modding tutorial series. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to replace the Half-Life splash screen in the main menu of your mod. All the required software is linked in the description. Please be aware that this tutorial is for Steam versions of Half-Life. If you have a non-Steam version, have a browse through the tutorials on TWHL. I'll leave a link in the description to that site. To begin, we need an image to use as our splash screen. So I've already created one which is in here and we can take a look at it okay so that's my splash screen image uh, if you if we look at the properties I can uh, show you that it is in fact a bitmap in it, image so it's a BMP format file which is quite important and as well as this the image dimensions are 800 by 600 and it's important that you get your image saved as a BMP format file and with these dimensions 800 by 600 otherwise the image will be distorted or it simply won't work when we convert it um, to our splash screen image format. So once you've found an image or created your own image which is 800 by 600 and it's in, saved it in BMP format um, then you can save that wherever before we do anything with the image itself, we're going to add a couple of folders to our mod directory. So, if we navigate to our mod directory, remember that's in our Steam installation uh, directory, and then common, Steam apps common, Half Life, and then the mod we created previously is, I called it example mod, whatever your mod name is, uh, go into that folder. And then in here, we have all our wonderful files and stuff. Now if you click on create new folder and now we want to create um, name this resource all lowercase without any typos. Make sure that this is typed out properly so it should be called resource. And then go into the resource folder we just created and make another folder and then call this one background. Again, all in lowercase, no capital letters and no typo, no typos, make sure it's um, correct spelling and everything, otherwise your splash screen won't work when you put it in there. So this background folder, as you can imagine, is the background image of the main menu, so our splash screen will go in here. So now we have these folders set up in our mod folder and we also have our image. We're going to need to actually convert the BMP format image into a series of TGA files using a specially made program which will um, allow Steam and Half-Life to cooperate so that um, the image shows up properly. In order to do that there is a handy little, little little program to do that for us so I'll leave a link in the description but if you open up a web browser and once it loads Using a link in the description, you can just uh, click on that link. Um, I've already got it in my clipboard, so I'll just paste it in here. Hit enter. Okay, so this is the Steam Slash Creator web page, and you can see here we've got a download link. Just click on that, and it should take a second or two, and then it should download it. Yes, here it is, okay. Now what we need to do is just click on that to open it. And click run. We can close that now because we don't need that anymore. And here we go. So you can see this old Steam style window should appear when you run the program. And there's not really that much to it. It explains what you need to do to convert the image. To begin, of course, you can just click on load image. So now I need to find the image which we, you created earlier. So mine was in here. There we go. Splash main one for me. And actually also supports J JPEG files as well, but I think BMP format would be fine as well. So click open. There we go. See, it shows up in there. And now all you need to do is click on make splash. And then select the folder you want to output the finished files. So remember, we just created um, this, these, these folders in our mod directory. 
we want to output into this background folder. So to do that, just navigate to that folder in this little file browser which it brings up for you. So that, remember that would be in Steam, so your program files then Steam Steam apps common half-life and then you can see our mod folder there go into resources and then background select the background folder in your mod folder and click OK and the program will create the splash file for you or splash files there we go you can see we've got this little pop-up window saying the TGA image has been created properly click OK and that's it, it's a really simple program, it just does the conversion for you, so you can quit that now. And it should, if we look in our folder, there we go. You can see in the resource background folder of our mod folder, we have all these different TGA files. And these are basically the splash screen, but in um, slightly different sizes and formats, I think. So, now that's all working, we can go into Steam, into our Steam library. So launch Steam, go into your Steam library, find your mod. So remember, I, I called mine my Half-Life mod, so whatever your mod is. And then you can click on play, and it should show up in the main menu. There we go, and as you can see, here's the splash screen. And yeah, there we go, it's all working, you can see I've actually, um, I should point out that I've made a dark background because you may want to consider the colour of these buttons and things. You can pretty much do what you want with the splash screen as much as you like. So, there we go, that's how to add a splash screen to your mod. Pretty straightforward. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a thumbs up if you found the tutorial helpful and be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. So, till next time, bye!